Coming in hot. Watch out. Coming in. Ding, 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 bam, bam, ba -dum, bam, 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 bam. Turn off. All right, cool. <laughs> I got too distracted. So we just got to the real intro now. All right, cool. Three, two, one. Another episode of Clean Up Guys today, we're focusing on one thing and one thing only. And that is keeping your wheels clean. Of course, to do that, we need the best product on the market right now, and that's Surf City Code Red. Did you order the Code Red? You're goddamn right I did! Alright, so we got a Honda Type R back in today. You guys have seen this on the show before. Specifically using it because the wheels are absolutely disgusting. And for Fast and Furious 9, this car was actually in it. You just made a big mistake. Or was it? No, it wasn't. You might be asking yourself, Jeremy, why do I need a wheel cleaner? I just use a sponge. Some people probably use something that looks like this to clean their wheels. Ah! Something like this should not be near your car ever. Don't use it. They're disgusting. This is going to make your life so much easier. It's dead easy to use. It cleans the wheels unbelievably well. So something like this car that generates a lot of brake dust, Code Red is the answer. Even if you don't have a car that generates a lot of brake dust, like a Swiss or whatever, something more normal, this still works amazingly well. Not only on brake dust, but any sort of dirt or road grind that gets stuck to your wheels, Code Red is gonna pull it off. It is dead easy to apply. All you need to do is make sure that your car has been parked and in the shade for a while. You don't want to do this while the wheels, or in particular, while the brakes are hot. Hot brakes, hot brakes. So this is obviously cool, ready to go. I'm gonna just shake up Code Red a little bit, like you always do, give it a good shake. Shake as hard as you can. You came here for a workout, right? And you're gonna want to liberally apply this all over the wheel. Spray it all down inside the barrel, all over the face of the wheel, all in the little cracks and crevices. Make sure you get both sides of all the spokes. This wheel in particular is a good challenge because it's got tons of spokes. If you had a simple five spoke wheel or whatever, obviously that's much easier to clean. It's called Code Red because as you can see, the product goes on green. And I, I don't even know if you could pick that up in the camera, but it goes on green and as it starts to attack all the brake dust that's on the wheel, it shifts red. Now, this wheel is red, in case you didn't pick that up earlier in the video. So as this turns red on the wheel, you're not really gonna notice it. It actually starts to look black, but the results are still the same. And after this, we'll show you on a black wheel so you can see it turning red and you don't need to panic and stress out. But we'll just put that there. Niall is gonna get some sick B-roll while that's dripping. And then we're gonna come back in two minutes after it's had some time to sit. As I said, obviously, because this wheel is red, you're not seeing it turn red. But all of this, all this dark stuff here that you see dripping is the product interacting and like breaking down all the brake dust that was bonded and stuck to this wheel. I actually just noticed a spot that I slightly missed. I'm gonna just hit it quickly so that when I wash off, y'all are seeing the best result. But yeah, so this will continue to drip. I like to leave it on for about two minutes. The most important thing is that you don't want it to dry onto the wheel that can create some problems and possibly ruin the finish. Letting it sit for two to three minutes is perfectly fine. If your wheels are really, really dirty, you can agitate this with, a, with like a wheel cleaning brush or an appropriate sponge. But once two minutes has passed, you can get your hose or your pressure washer and knock it all down. And like the difference is incredible for like, so for this particular wheel, obviously I just sprayed it on and I did not agitate it or touch it because I just wanted to show you guys how well this works to like pull away all this dirt and grime that was stuck on this wheel. So the other point is that Code Red smells pretty offensive. It's best to try and use it in, in open air and as much as possible, keep kind of a distance for, while you're spraying it because it's fairly, it's, it's a pretty strong smelling product, but it works really well, so give and take. All right, so that's been about two minutes. I got my pressure washer and we are just gonna spray this down. Remember, I have not agitated or touched this. I just applied Code Red and let it dwell for about two minutes. You see that difference? And you can see now where I would knock down all this red that's leaking on the floor. That's all the broken down brake dust that Code Red has attacked and pulled off of the wheel. That wheel is, I would say, 95% clean. Because I'm a bit obsessive, I would probably still go over this with a soap and with a sponge with some soap on it. I would still probably go over this with some with a little bit of soap just to make sure that I got all the dirt out of these tiny spots. But you can see the huge difference that that made. But that's it, guys. Cool red in action. Now we're gonna bring in a vehicle that has black wheels on just to show you again how the product works or reacts 
when it gets onto a dirty wheel where you can see it switching from green to red a little bit better. So, cut. Check these Falcon Wild Peak MTs available at one of our. All right, so we put the Honda away, brought a dirty Navara that one of our behind the camera assistants generously lent us. So I just wanted to demonstrate on this. Obviously, this is a matte black 20 inch wrapped in Falcon Wild Peaks. But the difference here is that this wheel is just dirty, but it's not going to obviously have as much brake dust as the Type R did. So I just want to show you how well Code Red works. And to reinforce that just because the product doesn't turn red doesn't mean it's not a cleaning. So Code Red goes red when it's interacting with like brake dust or some sort of like metallic contaminants that are embedded on the wheel. So when I spray it down on this wheel, you'll notice that it will go on green, but it is not really going to turn very red. And that's because obviously this Navara is not gonna generate as much brake dust on the wheels as something like the Type R will. But Code Red, even though it doesn't turn red because there's not interacting with brake dust, will still, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore, oh my God. Anyway, the point, the point I'm making is that it's still gonna clean the wheel. We'll let it sit for two minutes. And then we'll uh, come back and pressure wash it off and you guys will see how well it works. So it's been about two minutes now, so I'm gonna pressure wash off the code red. As you can see, obviously, it's still coming off green. The same way it went on because all, this wheel clearly did not have a lot of brake dust on it, just dirt and grime from James never washing it properly. Let's pressure wash it off so you guys can see the difference that it makes. That is the sweet thing about Code Red. Look, a perfectly clean matte black wheel with little to no effort. First time. <laughs> the best way to use this is just before you start to like wash your car, the first thing you should do is grab your bottle of Code Red, go around the car, hit all four wheels. By the time you get to the fourth wheel, you'll be ready to wash off the first one that you sprayed. Wash those off, your wheels are now clean, and then you can wet down the car and start the rest of your washing procedure. Honest to God, Code Red saves you so much time and effort for like $32 a bottle, I think. I mean, look at that. A bottle of those, you have to use it quite liberally depending on the size wheels that you have. I would reckon on a truck like this with some 20s, you could probably get three to four washes out of it depending on how dirty the wheels are and how heavy you have to be. For a car on some smaller wheels, maybe four or five washes. But the point is that it saves you a lot of time, keeps your wheels looking nice, clean, and then you don't have to be down here with a brush or a tool, scrubbing all down in the barrels and everything. Code Red does all the work for you. It is a breeze. You gotta add it to your collection. Y'all want some or what? What can happen? Cool, 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 cool. Cool, 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 Wait, we've spent more time dealing with a sign out than we did the rest of the whole video. Oh yeah, yeah, let's give away hats. I forgot, we got hats to give away. We got five hats to give away. You want one? Comment below, like, subscribe, share the video. I don't care what you gotta do. You gotta do something and then we're gonna pick somebody that did something and then we're gonna give you a hat. Respect. That's been it for this episode of the Cleanup Guys featuring Surf City Code Red. Remember, if you guys have not been using this product to clean your wheels, you have to come and try it. I showed you on two different sets of wheels how well it works today. I promise you won't be disappointed. Just like the previous video with the drying towel, Code Red is the same deal, guys. Come into Automotive of our day and make sure you try a bottle of Code Red. Also, we're going to be giving away five hats on this video. A subsequent post will come explaining how you could win one of our limited edition 30th anniversary hats. So stay tuned to our Instagram and Facebook for those details. That's been it for this episode, guys. I'm Jeremy, and I'll catch you in the next one.